Hey everybody, and welcome back to the Redbeard Outdoors podcast. I am Jonathan, your host, and here at Redbeard Outdoors, I talk about faith, family, fitness, and the outdoors. I love gear reviews. That's what you're going to hear on Tuesdays, the Tinkering Tuesdays. Right now, it's gear heavy, not mindset focused per se, because I want you to be able to get the right gear in your hands now, rather than waiting last minute for hunting season, backpacking season is kind of already here, uh, whatever it may be, guys. I uh, love talking about gear. So that's what you get on Tinkering Tuesdays. And then on Saturdays, you get amazing conversations with some guests that I have on the podcast that I just love learning from them, having conversations with them as if we're in the room together and uh, sharing that with you. As I learn, I want you to be able to learn and grow as well. So that's what we do here. That's what you're going to find here on Redbeard Outdoors podcast. If you're watching on YouTube, I ask that you subscribe and like if you like the video. Uh, there's tons of videos past and future that are going to be coming out. You're going to really enjoy these conversations that are coming, guys, and the gear reviews as well. Also with gear reviews, if there's anything in the fitness or outdoor space that you're looking for, definitely check out the description box down below. I probably have a discount code for you to save you some money on any of the gear that I use personally. So always check down below and that in turn will save you money. We'll support the show so we can continue growing over here and uh, supporting also the companies that support the show. So a lot of support kind of going in and out there, that value exchange, guys. So I appreciate that. Also, we just got done doing a giveaway for a Morel High Roller Target. I love doing giveaways, guys. I love giving away gear that I use so that I can help you up your game as well. Get some gear in your hands uh, that you can use in the future. If you're looking to get in on those giveaways, to know about them, I highly recommend that you get into Redbeard's Fit Crew and uh, follow me over on Instagram as well. I do different giveaways in each of those groups. And of course, to join the great community of Redbeard's Fit Crew, all you have to do is have a Facebook. If you don't have a Facebook profile, no worries. Shoot me an email. I'd love to add you into our weekly calls that we do every Tuesday night. And of course, we also have First Form Outdoors Group. Another great group of individuals that just loves to get better every single day, a little bit every single day. So check those links out down below, guys. Join the groups. If you go over to First Form Outdoors, which I highly recommend, let them know Redbeard sent you and uh, get in on those weekly calls as well. Just surround yourself with those amazing individuals that are going to help you up your game, get better every single day, and use social media for what it should be for, which is connecting people across the globe to help each other get better every day. So with that being said, guys, here's today's review. It's a new pair of shoes that just launched last Friday. It's from GoRuck and they are crushing it. Guys, I love working with this company. GoRuck is an amazing group of individuals. It, I can't even begin to describe the energy that comes from the people that I get to speak with on a regular basis over there at the GoRuck team. They absolutely want you to up your fitness game. Started with rucking, but now there's tons of sand equipment, there's clothing, apparel, shoes, and let me tell you guys, these, the Rough Runners, live up to the name. So I'm going to tell you guys a little bit about the story as to why these are named the Rough Runners. Now, these are not pristine and clean, guys. I've been using them uh, ever since I got them, and I'll give you some of my thoughts and also the features that are coming from Go Ruck. You can find those on the website, so I won't focus heavily on what they say there because you can go read the specs. I love to talk to you about what I enjoy about the gear items that I'm talking about. But here's the story behind the name of Rough Runner. So if you've ever heard of Teddy Roosevelt, one of our presidents, right? He was the 26th president of the United States. He was known as a Rough Rider. And so before he was a Rough Rider uh, in the first volunteer cavalry of the Spanish-American War, Teddy Roosevelt was a Rough Runner in italics quotations turns out the 26th president of the united states pretty much invented jogging he exercised regularly put in the work to become a healthy active outdoorsman that's why here at go ruck we named the premier running shoe in honor of him and the life he championed if you don't know much about teddy roosevelt's story guys i absolutely love his story it is outstanding he is one of those guys that just had so many obstacles in his way. He had health issues, uh, 
you know, vision, so many things going on. And he ended up overcoming them consistently. Uh, he was a great outdoorsman. He loved conservation. He loved just sharing the outdoors and nature with other people. And so uh, that is where the name came from. So these rough runners here, guys, first off, look at the tread. Sorry, again, it's a little dirty. But man, it's almost a trail shoe. It is not quite a trail shoe. This is a, a road shoe, but it's got some really amazing tread on it. The toe box is slightly wider than if you have the ballistic trainers from Go Ruck, which are another amazing shoe that I'll go over here in the near future while I'm testing, testing mine out uh, for the gym. If you need a good pair of gym shoes, I'll leave that link down below as well. But these right here are really amazing. It's got a good high arch support if you need it. Not necessarily high, I'd say maybe mid, but it's a good arch support for sure. This layer right here, guys, is outstanding. So it was designed, this shoe was designed mainly for uh, carrying heavier loads. So it's a little bit stiffer than maybe a traditional running shoe that you would find uh, in your running, you know, whatever your shoe store you go to. Uh, it's very flexible, right? You can see I'm just twisting it here. It's very flexible but it is a little bit more sturdy than the traditional running shoe because you can ruck in these guys. I've done, I don't usually do squats in running shoes because they are a little bit squishier, padded, etc. I've done squats, deadlifts, heavier loads, rucking. Um, I've worn these day in and day out. They are super comfortable, super comfortable. And uh, again, this sole was designed to be able to carry those heavier loads without collapsing, rolling your ankle, etc. So starting with the tread, amazing tread, which I always look for in a shoe. It's not going to wear out easily on you. You've got the great foam sole there. And then the lacing system is outstanding. This mesh is awesome, very breathable. And it just they just look good. So right now, uh, there's more colors coming in the future. But for right now, we've got this amazing black and gray. You've got that arrowhead, spearhead right here on the tongue, which is gray, and then it's black with the white sole. There's also white with the GORUCK symbols are red. So if you like that white kind of running shoe with red, definitely go check those out as well. I'll leave the link down below, guys, for you to check these shoes out. Go read the specs online. I'll give you some of the specs right here as well uh, while we're in this video. There's also something else pretty interesting. Look right here, if I can get the shoelace out of the way right here. So what you're going to see there is there's some extra padding here. So that's a little bit of support on the ankle. It's not really a high ankle shoe, but it's a little bit of support and cushion. And I highly recommend that you wear at least ankle socks with these. Uh, the reason being, again, it is a little bit stiffer here on the heel to be able to help support you while you're rucking or doing those, those kind of runs. I'm not a long distance runner, so I should have probably started there. I'm definitely not a long distance runner. I'll go run a 5K, um, but I prefer rucking, jogging, hiking, et cetera. So that's the the testing that I've put these through. I haven't gone to run a marathon with them. I do know some people that do run long distances that really enjoy these shoes as well for the support that they have. Uh, but guys, I'm telling you, these shoes are outstanding. So this is my day-to-day -day shoe at this point. Um, like I said, I, I've rucked in them. I've went jogging, running short distances in them and really like the support. I don't feel like I'm bouncing, uh, but I also don't feel like it's one of those traditional, or I guess not traditional, but like the CrossFit style shoe where it's a little bit more flat bottomed, more for stability. It's kind of a mix between that and a traditional running shoe. So not quite as cushiony as a traditional running shoe, but also not as stiff uh, and flat footed as a or flat sold as a crossfit style trainer so again guys outstanding shoe here let me read off some of our uh statistics here so the upper materials are made out of a 100 d polyester mesh and a tpu film reinforcement which is this right here there's more smoothed out areas that you see there just reinforcing it so you don't get any rips on your toes or anything like that uh, it's a gradient density EVA midsole, which is super key for those heavier rucks or just that support that you're going to get out of this midsole. Custom high density insert. So let me see if I can pull that out. So these guys, these are some of the best inserts that I've seen on shoes. They're pretty cushiony. 
and just I mean, like it says there, just high density. So great for support. Also, uh, 10 millimeter heel to toe drop. So for you runners out there looking for different drops, this isn't that neutral zero drop shoe. Uh, it's going to be more traditional with the higher heel. So 10 millimeter heel to toe drop. The weight is about for a size nine is a 10 and a half ounces. Uh, so mine's going to be just a little bit more than that, depending on more or less, just depending on whatever shoe size you've got. Uh, but that's a, a typical size nine, a uh, lace lock eyelets. So these eyelets right here, there you go. I'm not necessarily a shoe nerd guys. So I'm giving you this information and you can take it and, and run with it. Uh, no pun intended there. And then of course you guys, you know, there's just made by an amazing company here at go ruck. So the guys at go ruck are an outstanding group of individuals, always looking to push the boundaries, get better. And you know, you should definitely go grab some. If you're in the market for another pair of trainers, if you're in the market for a rucking shoe, your day to day shoe, a runner, definitely check these out. These shoes are outstanding guys. So uh, they launched last Friday. So uh, go check out the link down below. If you have any questions and you're on YouTube, leave a comment down below. If you're listening to the audio version, definitely go check it out on YouTube <laughs> so you can get a, a chance to see what these shoes look like. But if you're listening to the audio version, you can shoot me a message over on Instagram. You can shoot me an email if you have any questions about these shoes. But definitely click the link down below. Check those out, guys. And again, come join us over at Redbeard's Fit Crew and First Form Outdoors so you can surround yourself with those amazing individuals that are going to make you better on a day-to-day -day basis. Guys, I'd love to have you in the crew. If you like this video, leave a like, subscribe, share it with others. Uh, go check out these shoes if you're in the market for a pair of shoes. And even if you're not, go check these shoes out, guys. They're definitely worth it. Uh, again, any other questions, let me know. Hope you have an amazing day. And of course, get out, live your life, and love it.